So far we've covered basic front panel operation. If using a digital interface to control this product, we can go to our menus and select the parameters that we're gonna need. We're gonna select the home button. We're now going to select the control interface menu. From here, we can set parameters for GPIB, RS-232, and LAN, as well as a couple of other parameters which we're not going to cover today. First, we'll cover GPIB. The GPIB is very simple. We're gonna select the GPIB menu, and this allows you to set a value for the GPIB address that you're wanting to use. In this case, I'm going to change it to address five. We've now selected address five, and we can move back out of this menu by selecting the home key or the up arrow. Next, we're going to select an RS-232 interface and set its parameters by selecting the RS-232 button. From this screen, we can set our baud rate, stop bits, data bits, and parity. I'm gonna go back to the other menu. Next, we're going to set our LAN parameters by selecting the LAN button. From this menu, we have two parameters we can select. The first one is LAN settings, which we're going to select now. This screen gives you the current settings that are in use for your IP address, the host name, subnet mask, port number, gateway address, and the MAC address for the product. We're gonna go back and change our IP address at this point by selecting the up arrow button. From this menu, we're going to select our LAN configuration button. This menu allows us to change IP address, subnet mask, gateway address, MAC address can't be changed but can be viewed, select a host name, and select a port number. This was a communication setup guide for the AST-1501 in the Asterion series, brought to you by Amatech, programmable power.